Okay, hello everybody. So, um, I'm sorry if I look like super tired in this video, um, but I am tired today and I'm also, um, it's a Sunday. So I've kind of started this like thing where um, I fast every Sunday and it's not for religious purposes, um, but I was just kind of doing, I've been getting more um, interested in intermittent fasting and just kind of the benefits of fasting for your body and although I don't I don't know if I would necessarily say I intermittent fast regularly um, I'm just kind of interested to um, kind of start seeing if I have any like um, health benefits from doing this I do like a 36 hour fast because I'll stop eating around um, 8 o'clock uh, p.m. and then I'll go a full day so like I stop eating the evening of Saturday I won't eat all Sunday and then I won't eat breakfast until usually around 9 a.m. Um, on Monday so it ends up being about a 36 hour fast and the first time I did it was last Sunday and I actually felt really great the next day like obviously I'm a little bit tired while I'm doing it um I don't necessarily feel hungry but if you've never done a fast before it's actually so I don't know just interesting to see how we spend so much time um during our day worrying about like our next meal where we're going to eat preparing food takes so much time and um which is fine and that's a part of life but um just when you do fast for a day or whatever period of time you're fasting for um all of a sudden you have like hours free and it's like the first time I didn't know what to do with myself I was just kind of like um okay well what do I do now and like I kept wanting to just wander into the kitchen um like I guess thinking that I needed to go cook something um when I wasn't eating so I didn't have to but anyways uh yeah so I've also had a few the past couple days have been really busy we've had like late nights and then I work it like I wake up at 6 45 every morning to start work so um, so yeah, I, I did like, uh, meditation today, which was really nice, but I fell asleep after that, just because after the meditation, I was just like, oof, I need a moment, so I think I had like 45 minute nap or something like that, so that's probably why my face looks like I'm <laughs> so tired, but, um, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of an update video, because, um, I guess the last few videos were kind of about <clears throat> my au pair thing, which, guys, I'm so sorry. Like, I really just need to, oh, gosh. I just have to sit down and film the rest of the videos that I kind of want for that series. Um, and then I did, like, what I eat in a day, uh, vegan and gluten-free. So if you enjoy those, like, give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments what kind of videos you would like to see. Um, but I have just been having kind of like the most spiritually changing time in my life and um I just don't even know where to start honestly I don't want this video to get super long but I had mentioned in a previous video about this book I was reading that was recommended for me by I don't think it's necessarily my spirit guides but just I guess um a higher frequency um, had, had guided me to this book and I needed to read it and it was, um, I guess sort of translated through this amazing lady here. Um, I think I had mentioned her in the video previous, but she does, um, a lot of work with sound frequencies and she does like quantum change. So it has to do a lot of with a uh, lot with quantum physics and all that but she's so interesting and I'm so so grateful that she recommended or she translated this book to me because um I just finished it today it's taken me guys like five weeks which is crazy because it's not a big book by any means but um it's called I am the word okay and it's um a translated uh text 
by this guy, Paul Sealing. You can look him up on YouTube, and he does some channeling um, in front of groups and whatnot, which is interesting to see how he does it. But it says, A Guide to the Consciousness of Man's Self in a Transitioning Time. And it's basically all about, um, gosh, raising your vibration, becoming one with a Christ energy that we all are. Um, basically, if you are awakening, uh, you, if, if maybe this video is the first time you've ever heard of this, like, awakening and becoming, um, you know, into a higher consciousness, maybe this is kind of the sign then that you should read this book, that you should look into, just kind of, I don't want to say it's an awakening movement, because awakening is, I guess, the movement in a sense, but, but this book is so amazing, and, um, there's actually three, um, books, so I have the second one, but I don't know if I'll be able to finish reading it before I go home, which is another thing I'm going to talk about in a minute, but, um, but definitely just this one, it, it is amazing and it has so much information. It really helped me because my family is Christian and I don't want to get into religion or anything, but definitely when you're awakening, you, you question all of these religions and, um, this book just basically made everything make sense to me, which I don't know. It's just honestly... I highly recommend that you read this book. Um, you might read it and be like, what the hell was that? I don't understand. But the whole point is that this book works with you um, like on a conscious and subconscious level. And yeah, so anyways, I just highly recommend it. But the next thing that I wanted to talk about was the fact that I only have one month and five days today until I go home and I can't I can't again explain all the emotions I've had behind this but I've just I've been torn because some days most days now I just think like how absolutely grateful I am to be here and and all the people that are here um Honestly, for the most part, like, sometimes you'll have guests that aren't, like, the most pleasant and whatnot. But I've had so many amazing guests and then just at the people that I work with here and, um, and, and live with and everything. Honestly, I just feel like this has been exactly what I needed before I went home between kind of my au pair experience and then going back home. Because, like I said, in the past, like, two months, um... Well, I've really been able to get my health kind of back on track because I've been eating right again. I've been able to exercise when I want to. Not exactly as much as I've wanted to, but that's just on, that's my own doing. Um, but, but no, and then definitely just coming into, I think my spirituality more, finding this higher consciousness, my awakening, um, or at least trying to educate myself more. But just the people here, I feel like in general, um, I've been able to keep like my own frequency higher and um and I've just been happy and honestly I'm not going to lie I'm actually worried about going home just because um I feel like returning home I'm so scared that I'm going to return to the person I was before and um I just think that I've had such a growing experience and a hard thing for me to get my head around is the fact that when I get home, um, most of my friends and family will still have been there, like in my town, um, the entire time I've been away. And although, you know, life can change quite a lot, there's still this experience that I've had um, only with myself though like it hasn't been with my family or with my friends back home it's been only with myself so I can't like explain all of the change and the impact that this you know experience of living um, nine months away has has given me and taught me um, so you know I'll go back and and I mean obviously I'm I I miss them all and I'm so excited to see all of my friends and family back home and my puppy. Um, but it's just one of those things that I don't really know if it's going to be almost difficult for me to connect with everyone again. Um, 
I know it'll be fine, but it's just, um, I mean, if you've ever had an experience where you were away for a long time, hopefully you know kind of what I'm talking about here. But it's just something that's definitely been going through my head, my mind a lot lately, just because I feel like all of a sudden I only have one more month and my birthday is in a month. So I'm going to be 19 and um, honestly, like this video is going to get really long and I don't know if any of you care about this. This is just me trying to get it out, I guess, but I just kind of look back on my 18th year um, as something that was probably one of the biggest roller coasters of my life and I've had a lot of roller coasters in my life but basically I had turned 18 last June and from that time I finished dancing I graduated high school I traveled Europe with my family was diagnosed with cancer returned home to be told in a month and a half that they didn't think it was cancer and it could have been lymphadenitis, but there's no way we'll ever probably know. I returned back to Spain after about a month of living with my first host family. I just had to make the move to Madrid where I stayed for five months with my second host family. I went on two trips, one yoga retreat, which was absolutely amazing and I wish I could return to that place before I go home just because honestly that yoga retreat was like amazing amazing um and then I came on a trip here in Andalusia Spain uh I was super super sick for about a month I was essentially offered a job here um so moved from Madrid to Andalusia and I've been working for I think it'll have been three months by the time I go back home here in the south of Spain. I've met so many incredible people. I've had tons of difficulties. I've had super amazing highs. I now I'm gluten-free because I think I have a problem with my thyroid but that's like for another video but I just look at like the 18th year of my life was absolutely crazy and it's so hard for me to believe that I'm going to be 19 because I kind of feel like I wasn't even 18 for that long like I was back and forth in countries and continents and um like honestly it was just a lot of firsts a lot of doing things by myself for the first time I never actually flown on my own until I moved to Spain uh, the second time and um like so much learning and I think that it's so interesting because this being the first year of my life where I wasn't in school I can honestly 100% say I have learned the most I think in my life that I ever have before this year and I was not in any school of any sort and I'm not gonna say like obviously you learn a lot in school but I just mean for um, things that I'm retaining and retention of information this year has been just full of learning I when I had been diagnosed with can with cancer I was doing research every single day about diets um, natural health uh, remedies and cures and I learned a ton about all of that then now I mean I've been looking so deep into awakening and consciousness and there's so much like the learning will never end there but honestly you guys I just thank you thank you thank you if you have been here from the beginning or even if you're a new subscriber and you are subscribed and you're sticking along with <laughs> my journey and my story but um I just like I am it's such a weird thought to think I'm going to be home soon and like I haven't seen my parents in it'll have been like nine months um yeah so anyways this video is so long but I just wanted to give an update because this is what's been going through my head 
recently. I'm still absolutely loving where I am and the people here are so amazing and um, yeah, oh my goodness. Please leave comments down below of any videos you'd like to see and hopefully I can get those filmed up um, within the next like four weeks. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy to think. But thank you so much, you guys. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And yeah, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you next video. Bye.